Hi, do you ever get a message like this? Ow. BTW, you are an awesome steamer. Seriously, you entertained me and you made me laugh. Heart. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you like the stream. Yes, yeah, seriously, I'm telling the truth. Heart. Do you know that I came in your stream as an artist? Heart. Laughing, crying emoji. But I forgot when I started to see your stream. Laughing, crying emoji. Heart. Heart. And then you go through the motions, you check their Twitter, and oh hey, there's examples here, or they send you a por portfolio or something. And then you notice something's a little off. This is likely an art scammer. Um, the video you're about to watch is an edited down version of a VOD where I explain my experience with, uh, scammers like this. I want to spread awareness of this scam. This affects artists in a very negative way, and on top of AI art already quote-unquote stealing jobs from artists and things, which it is, but we, well, we get into that too. Um, but yeah, I, this is to let people know, uh, that, hey, these scams exist, and honestly, you yourself might have been scammed, but you wouldn't know it. And I'm gonna put a trigger warning here because at the around the end of this, I might talk about how uh, the streamers we I interacted with uh, told members of my Discord server to kill themselves. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, enjoy. Yo, what up? I wanted talk about stuff, but I'm bad at talking when I'm not streaming. <laughs> Owl had another, like, scammer person message him. Of course, like, he did, like, with what happened last year, um, you know, he, like, he didn't, like, obviously he didn't fall for it this time, um, but I really want to make a video about these art scams, because they're, it, it is so common now. It is ridiculously common and i don't think people are talking about it hey damien yo what up yeah so the <sighs> these art scams are very you know hi shumi hi 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 um the the art scams are like <sighs> that there's probably so many like victims of it and if if i make a video and like people actually like see it which with the art scams, they're happening more and more. And like, I I want to like talk about them and like, you know, make a video about it. Hi, Bardic. Yo, what up? Yikes. Yeah, like, uh, there is the person that joined uh, my Discord. Um, what was it like last week? They were like, there was them. And now Havel, like in, a, in a, one of his friends' Discords, they joined, someone else joined one of his. And it's so, it's, it's fucking everywhere. So I think the stuff that went on, um, last year, like, I, I, I don't know. I think it's a private, uh, it's a private channel in discord, but like there, there's a whole like channel in the discord that was dedicated to posting information about what I found out about the scammer that joined last year and like actually like scammed Havel and uh, I was gonna go over that and stuff like that because you know like I I want to like I want to at least try to do something because it's it's like bad because on top of like artists getting shafted like especially now because of like AI and like things like that people stealing art and then like s like selling it to like just like people on discord and things like that it it hits me in a place where i'm like i this it's so it's so bad and i i i want to at least try to do something i probably could have made a video about this like <laughs> like a year ago but now that it's happening, like, like, it, it seems like around this time of year, it gets, it gets, like, significantly, like, more. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go through what happened last year with it. Um, also, uh, do I have the, okay, I have, I have the regular model on, uh, only because, like, th this isn't a Halloween stream. Th this is a, well, I guess I could have the... I could change the colors, huh? We're gonna keep the colors, because I'm lazy. But, um... 
Yeah, Baba Booey. Hold on. Um, I, I don't know. Yes, uh, this is a private uh, thingy. I had to make it private um, when we uh, like finished this because the scammers we were talking about, eventually they found out that we were talking about this. What's going on? Um, I'm just talking about art scams. That, that's all. Uh, and like a bunch of stuff that happened uh, like a year ago. Uh, but like this is this is probably like good information to like let people know about. That's all. Um, like so, there's nothing like serious going on except for the art scams. Though those are like actually like a problem. <sighs> Welcome in. Okay, I'm I'm probably gonna be like I'm, I'm gonna talk like a lot because a lot happened. It started off with uh, Havel was looking for art, and uh, this person named La Senora. The name doesn't matter. It's Honestly, it, the names of these, like, the scam accounts, uh, they look like regular accounts. And that's the the worst part. Like, Tina Jones. Uh, that's a thing we noticed with uh, the scammers that we've seen this year. Like, uh, the one that, yeah, anime profile picture, that checks the box. Although, the one that Havel was talking about earlier, I think I can, yeah, I can show this. Uh, he was sending me messages like it like it it was like this. That's what the profile picture looked like. It, like I that you can't tell. Um, but yeah, back to this. Um, so I was I I feel really bad about how this turned out because I was fooled too. Um, at the start, like I was I thought like oh it's it's just like a regular account like but maybe they have like a script they go through to like you know make it easier to like communicate with people because that's literally like it's the same here let me uh we'll just do the browser stuff again yeah so like havel got how are you doing today glad to hear it how often you stream i'm a professional designer and then i got how are you doing today? Glad to hear it. How often do you stream? Professional designer. The same, like literally almost word for word, the same exact like script, female profile picture. That's the thing. Um, yeah, they absolutely follow scripts. Yeah. But like, I feel like it's easier to trick people with these specific like things because like with with like things like telemarketing scams or like you know like scams with like a like tech support scams or something you get a like you get a cold call and it like you immediately know it's like not to like stereotype but like you'll hear like the indian guy's voice say something about your computer and you're like okay yeah that's just like you know exactly that's another thing but not everybody knows that like here um there's a there's a thread here or, or like not even a thread it's this is how one way to like weed them out just like if you have gfx designer in like a tweet you will get hundreds upon hundreds of like oh well, okay this one didn't wait maybe it did get hundreds and it just didn't load but like no you get like ridiculous amounts of like just like like zero vault design is intelligent made visible artist graphic designer app developer like and then you look through their art. I shouldn't actually do this on stream. Let me uh, let me look through really quick. I just saw like <laughs> some stuff, and I was like, uh, oh, okay, yeah, oh yeah, good. Okay, thanks Twitter. Thank God I. <laughs> good call. <laughs> that was just straight up porn. Let me scroll down through this one. Make sure this one's safe. Um, one thing you'll notice, um, with these accounts, and this is the best way to like tell if uh if like the person you're talking to is a real artist or a scammer um you sent me something in dms okay here let me take a look yeah yeah i get those too um though those those are all over the place actually here uh, i'll i'll show these because like if you just you just if you're like a, a streamer or like a vtuber or anything never thought no, yeah, you wouldn't have because I'm ace. <laughs> Alrighty, we're a little off topic. Uh, let's get back to the original topic. 
so I actually went through uh, the person named La Senora. I'll just I'll just call him Senora uh, from now on. Uh, this was me telling Havel like, oh hey yeah we're like something's weird. Um, so I I looked through they I had had Havel tell them hey can you send me some previous work right. Um, and I, like, I tried to contact all of these people. Um, the only one that responded was, uh, this guy, uh, the one bunny boy. Uh, I, I only managed to find him on Steam, surprisingly. Like, it was hard to, like, actually, like, find these people. But, like, he was literally the only one that, like, you know, I could talk to. Um, I almost got in contact with, uh, the person... This person was very hard to track down because they keep... Ch their name kept changing, but their Twitter handle was the same. Uh, but, like, eventually I ended up having to, like, message one of their friends and... But, like, whatever, that doesn't matter. The only person I actually got in contact with was, uh, Bunny Boy. Um, and lo and behold... Like, this was just, like, to prove, like, this is how it happened. I asked him to send me his first interaction with, uh, with the person who sold him his stuff. By the way, this is what La Senora sent us, right? As previous work. And now you'd see GFX Jessica? Okay, that's a different account. Why are you messaging him from a different account? Why not just use the same account? But you see, it's like, hey, yeah, how are you doing? Uh, do you stream? I'm a professional designer. It, like the same exact one. So at this point, like, we're like, okay, yeah, like o obvious, like something like scam. They, it, absolutely a scam. After that, oh yeah, uh, I forget what this video was hold on let me see real quick oh yeah Th this was uh, oh yeah we were looking up uh we were i found gfx jessica's uh twitter account because of course it's the same as their like discord um and i ended up like looking at what they're showing their previous stuff is and this is one of the things that <laughs> They sent Havel, and it's it's the it was the same exact thing. Like they all use the same exact art artwork. Uh, might actually check the vod later. You might not have to. I'm gonna turn this into a video because of course this stream isn't gonna like get anywhere. But maybe I'm I'm hoping like YouTube like shows people this because I this is a problem. Like this is a this is bad how like how like often often this happens uh but um so with this uh the initial interpretation was that we we found the original artist yeah that's another thing but people don't know that that's the thing shumi if, if they're I, well actually yeah if they're a professional they don't have to reach out but um if they're a like a newer artist which if you see like an account like you know anime profile picture it's it, like you're like okay this is like this is like a 16 year old or something that like wants to like actually they do say they're a professional designer but like at, at the same time you're you're like almost like oh, okay this is probably like a young kid or something that just wants to like get their name out there which honestly if they said that i would have had zero fucking suspicion but of course professional designers are more like that's people want professionals and that's the thing um but uh yeah uh we thought we found the original artist but you know of course it turns out uh and I, I ended up messaging uh, this, uh, what was it, Florence? Or, yeah, Je Jessica or Florence or whatever. I messaged them and I was like, hey, uh, this is, if they said they're beginners, it'd be impossible. You wouldn't be able to tell. The only way you'd be able to tell is by looking at their Twitter. But you have to ask for their Twitter first. Sometimes they'll just give it to you, but not always. I, I was like, okay, this must be the original person, right? I keep repeating myself, but... Uh, and I messaged this person, I was like, hey, I think somebody's, like, stealing your artwork. Um, and all that. So I, I, I messaged them and all that. Um, and then eventually, um, Havel 
uh, got his artwork. At, like, cause he he paid for it already. Like he was art, like the scam was already finished, but they actually do send you artwork. But, but uh, we specifically asked uh, like if we could see some work in progress art, right? And he never got it. And then, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, neon green fruit, like absolute shout outs to neon green fruit. Ne neon right here. Uh, well, they're N for this because streamer mode. But like, neon was fucking on the ball with this. But uh, neon immediately found the fucking artwork used, or or like, sh like neon was like immediately like searching for stuff, and then literally fucking. <laughs> Here, you know what? Let me put both of these into a thing, and you'll immediately be like, oh, wow, that's- it's- it's the same. It is the exact same artwork. Oh god, why did that zoom in? But yeah, it's- it's the exact same, they just recolored it. And it's like... By the way, this was like, maybe 10 minutes after I had po posted this, I think. And... Like, yeah. She she found that insanely fast um, and all that stuff. And here's a, a video of me being like, holy shit. Well, okay, it's confirmed. It, they're just like stealing art. Uh, yeah, I, I sent messages to like the original artists and all that stuff. But the thing is, the art that they usually steal is from like accounts that are no longer active. So like or, or not no longer active active but haven't been active for a while like one of them one person i talked to or one scammer that i like talked to like years ago or not years ago i want to say this was like right before covid um sent me uh sent, or they they sent me something that was from like i reverse image search and it was just straight up from an artist from like 2016 who hadn't posted in like like six years or something and like man it it was it was crazy and then um at this point i i really like start fucking with them okay this part i need to put a warning or like a PSA or something. Do not uh, do what I did and try to like mess with these people or anything like that. These are potentially dangerous people and uh, nothing good comes out of it. Um, all, all I recommend you do is um, confirm your suspicions if they're a scammer, um, then uh, call them out on it tell them i think you are a scammer and then block them it doesn't matter if they give a response or anything just block them and just go on about your life Alrighty. actually oh yeah 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 this is the floor this is the florence account right i i messaged them saying like someone has stole stolen some art that you work uh, or artwork that you made and all that stuff. And I told them, hey, if you want to contact me, blah, 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 blah. And then they sent me this. Everything is sorted out now or not, but you will be the one to sort it all out. Actually, Signora is my friend and I allowed her to use some of my work for some time, but she used that for little to while. It doesn't matter mean that she is a scammer i can assure you that she is a good as me with i have little exposure to the world but i will ask her to stop using my art but if you or a friend have gotten some commission from her kindly complete that and uh believe her now i i know she she had m made a mistake but it's not a big deal so kindly tell your friend that she is good to go with i hope everything would be sorted now and thank you and what's the name for your, of your friend for clarification I just, I just, I just, I think I ended up calling him Clarence. Yeah, you go by Clarence. Yeah, they love saying kindly. Yeah. Uh, or it's just kind of, I was, I, yeah, I was just like fucking with them at this point. The, oh yeah. The problem is the person who is being scammed is actually Havel the Rock, but he is saying that they don't know you. In fact, Senora got her Discord locked, and as Havel don't have any Twitter, she got to your server by seeing that you were mentioning some, some, some someone similar to that name, and whereas, what a surprise, she found him in your server, and now they are rejecting to every know that person named Suppidips ever exist on this planet. Because <laughs> I was telling Havel, hey, don't tell them that you know me. Like, 
<laughs> also, if you cannot say their n name or reveal any personal info and the other that we know is Havel the Rock. Like, I never mention Havel at all. Not a single time to this person. And like, oh, okay, you just know, you just know the name? You know it's Havel? Okay. Oh, so quick side note that I just realized. Um, in that first message, they literally say that the person getting scammed is Havel. It, it's, it's, it's poetry. And he is saying he also don't know you, so there is no way of you blaming my friend for being a scammer. I think now you guys are a scammer in some way. I forgot that they were calling me a scammer. Uh, in some way. So please, if you would like to come forward, always come prepared. It's scammerish era. But like, oh my god, like after I after I got this, like there was like a little doubt in my mind, like ma like I was like, ma am I like doing the right thing by like you know do, like contacting these people and like trying to like do the like what I thought was the right thing after this message, like absolutely, like. <laughs> Yeah, and then I, I reported them to the FTC. I don't think the FTC actually did anything. Then I made a whole Twitter thread that, like, barely anyone saw. Um, and, pff, yeah. Uh, a, b a bunch of garbage. Um, oh yeah, then they started messaging people who were in my s server with a bunch of different accounts. Like, you're the only person I can message in a server, try to everyone else, uh, let me in. Like, dude. <laughs> Hello, the server time server. I can't join it, though, the link, uh, through the link, and I was watching the VOD when you said you posted cat pics in general, so... Like, they were going through my VODs to find, like, a way in. <laughs> and then there's, like, a second Senora account, and it's like, okay. Hello, I need to get into the supper time server. Give me a link to it. I know you don't know me, but I want to join. Let me in. Like, they're so, they were so fucking desperate. And then when they don't tell, they don't, why do they want in? Because they probably knew I was telling everybody. Yeah, and then they tell, they started telling people to like, kill themselves. Like, buddy, like at this point, like they might as well just have given up. Like, they weren't getting in. She let them in? No, fuck off. No, I'm, I would not have done that. They would have absolutely just posted a bunch of, like, awful shit. I, sorry, I wasn't telling you to fuck off. I was say, saying fuck off to just that whole thing. Uh, get in and then what? Probably just spam the server. And, like, spam everybody in the Discord. Oh, yeah, I, I accepted a single... Yeah, pro they would probably post, like, gore and probably, like, porn and, like, stuff like that. Like, they probably just had that, like, already loaded up. Like, why else would they want to... Would have wanted to get in? Um, but, uh... Yeah, I, uh... I accepted a, a, a thing and I had... I was, like, single message. That's all they have. Uh, oh, yeah, this is, the, like, verbatim. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 that wasn't it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah, I told them, like, I have your, uh, like, I told them, you know, blah, 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 blah. I have your IP, give me a link to the server, K-U-I-S. And then they blocked me. They blocked me immediately afterwards. So, <laughs> like, with it. Okay, actually, so, something really, um upsetting is about to happen well not it, it's it's upsetting to me because hold on uh it, it was like one of the last things that they tried um oh yeah right here um they they made this account and they say uh hey i know the other guy was trying to get in the supper time server but that was jay you see we have did and he did that because we were having a hard time paying bills. But now I would like to get into the server just to make it right. I want to make it up to you guys, all of you. So, with that, um, if you don't know what DID is, it's Dissociative Identity Disorder. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying this. And then, the, like, the, the fucking about me for this is, I have DID in my ha half and half my alters want to do one thing and the other half wants to do the other, so everyone fights and currently in three of them are arguing with all three of us co-front co help me. Like, by the way, this was made 
that that day this account was made that day so like this like th this was made that day not two days ago this this was a year ago this didn't just happen yeah um this was actually this was exactly a year ago almost uh th like this this whole thing happened um yeah th this is all, this is all in the past so that's why i'm saying like it's not too bad um, yeah, it, eventually I made a report to Discord, and at two in the fucking morning they get back to me and say we're investigating it, and that's pretty much where it leaves off. Um, oh yeah, they, they sent Havel even more stolen art, like, we're like, like they really wanted somehow to like, like make Havel, like, okay with taking the art and the good thing that came out of this is Havel um actually got like a real artist that made much better art or emotes than this of uh of this pokemon i forget what the pokemon's name is uh, <clears throat> sorry uh, this next part is we're talking about ways that you, you yourself can go find artists and stuff I'm sorry, it's like midnight and I have to work at 7 in the morning and I'm still working on this video, so... Go to Discords? Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure there there is much better ways. Hell, you, another way you can look for, like, actual artists? Uh, there's websites that, like, have, like, collections of, like, Discord servers, or, like, you can search up a Discord server for, like, artists. You can go on Twitch. Uh, some, some artists uh like stream their art and you can go go disboard disboard yeah that, that's one um <clears throat> but uh yeah you can go to twitch you can look through the art category hell i'm sure hold on really quick i i for, i don't trust like searching anything <laughs> anymore <laughs> hold on yeah like i mean i don't even have to like do much here like look at how many like just talented people who are just like probably just doing commissions hell if you scroll down far enough you'll just see people doing like really cool shit who have like no viewers go hire these people look in the commission tag you're absolutely correct yeah look, like look at this there's so many people look how fucking good that is that's amazing looking. <laughs> I don't I don't like that he's the first thing I heard was like not safe for work. But like like seriously, you can find like such like talented artists very easy. Uh, he said he said not safe for work and I'm like I see art and I'm I'm like okay, maybe uh maybe don't uh maybe don't stay there too long. Maybe I'll like uncover a layer and there's like like tits or something i don't i don't know but um dude i already almost showed porn <laughs> so <laughs> I, i'm i'm good um but yeah like just hell like this person right here the eight viewers this person's making a live 2d model by the way this shit is hard <laughs> like this shit, i've done that like uh hold on uh this model right here i th this is this is a live 2d model this model took it, it took maybe like, hell, it probably took like an hour to draw. It took probably, it put, took days of work to, to fucking like rig this thing to, to be like good. Uh, Cause I even like, I rigged the mouth and everything. Uh, so like it actually like opens and closes. This one's a little fucky, but you know, uh, but yeah, like, yeah, 3D models. Uh, no, live 2D is uh, live 2D is like, so you can take like a, a 2D drawing. Hold on, the way you have to make it. Um, well, th this is off topic, but the way you make a, a live 2D model is like every part is a different layer. So like this hair is like a different layer. Like the ears are on a different layer. Every like piece of the eyes in a different layer. And then you, uh, you have to manually, like, move them and set them to parameters and everything. It is such a fucking tedious process. So, like, like, this, this shit is, like, it takes, like, genuine, like, s like, skill. Um, not to, like, toot my own horn, but, like, I, I know how, what, how the process is. So, like, it's... 
it's it's hard and the fact that somebody just comes in here or just like comes in and is like oh hey like i i make live 2d models and like just like steals somebody else's work and then sells it it it's so frustrating it, because oh god it, i'm i'm getting heated but like you can see why though it's ridiculous like this shit takes time and uh, and that like on top of you know people people are literally being replaced by like ai of course there's some things that ai like straight up can't do like i don't think ai could do like this for example i don't think ai could make one of these uh, like a live 2d model uh well maybe but like it but uh yeah so the way you can i i should this is gonna be like an end cap for the uh the art skins thing this is mostly just like a psa right so say you you get contacted on like discord hell even like somebody comes into your stream and they're like oh actually so here's a here's a uh a thing that like that last person prank okay we'll do that in a minute <laughs> uh i want to i want to get this out p2 let's go okay um but um yeah I, I need to get this out before i do that um that if you are a small time streamer say like you don't uh you don't like get like not many viewers like you could get maybe like 10 viewers like like consecutively you get like like not a lot of viewers but like you get like some somebody will come to your stream especially if you're a vtuber and they'll be like oh hey like your model looks good or, like you're a very entertaining person like heart emoji like th they'll be extremely nice and then you're like oh th hey this is just like a nice person they're saying like nice things about my like stream and all that stuff and then uh later on you get a dm and they're they're like Hey, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I really like your streams. Do you stream often or something? You stop getting art bots at seven views. I I don't actually know the uh, if how like it, I don't know if there's actually like studies on that. I haven't actually looked looked it up. But um, yeah, yeah. They'll they'll message you and then they'll be like, oh hey, you know, I average like four to six. Okay, so. It, I think it's if you have an active chat. I think that's probably more ab about it. I'm maybe who knows, but that's oh anyway. Speculation aside, uh, they'll message you. They'll be like, "Hey, I actually like wanted to, um, like be like, hey, I wanted to make art for you, um, and like so, uh, that's like you know." He lies, don't listen to. Yeah, you did it. Congratulations. Hi, Hags. Uh, how are you doing? Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. Um, blah, brain. Sorry, <laughs> ADHD yeah, and you stuff. Did it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, you did it. Congratulations. You fucking dorks. Yeah, you did it. Congratulations. I don't have a co cooldown on that. I'm batting a cooldown on that. <laughs> like, right after this. Yeah, um, anyway. There's no cooldown. Yeah, fucking sure does. Sure does does have a cooldown now. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway. Hello. Hello. Okay, you did it. Congratulations. God damn it. Why doesn't it all happen at the same time? Yeah, I have a lot of redeems. Uh, but okay. Do I have to turn off mix it up so I can finish my words? <laughs> um, yeah, the, anyway, they'll, they'll message you, they'll be like, hey, I'm an, I'm an artist, all that stuff. And... I... my brain is stupid! <laughs> Just ban them all? No, they're, they're fine. Um, but, uh, then, like, they'll be like, oh, do you want to see my, uh... Do you want to see my, like... <clears throat> Uh, like my portfolio sometimes they'll send you a Twitter that looks exactly like this N minus that's pro this honestly in the video I'm censoring this person's face because this is probably not the same person um but th it'll look like this um it's always the girl it's well sometimes it, it, it is it is usually a girl because horny bait I don't know maybe
I'm taking it away. <laughs> Sorry, I, I need to take it away because I, I need to. Yeah, it's always a female avatar, yeah. The biggest giveaway for like, like this is fake art is just name underneath this. Yeah, bottom text, literally just bottom text. Like we're kind of like almost uncanny, like art on top of text with thing in the background. Yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't even bend with it. Like the hair is like, that's like out of place. It looks like something out of like a Barbie game. Like, like this, like, like art that doesn't look the same. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this one, okay. Sometimes they can be a lot more uh, discreet. <laughs> Like, look at that. That is, that would be rad. But like, this is clearly stolen art. The different watermark. Okay, no, the fact, one of the things that is really important to remember is that somebody probably bought this. That's the thing. You can probably look up uh, Naji FRK and this is probably a real account that they actually sold to, which kind of strengthens the like the like oh this is a real artist thing like i here actually here uh let me hide the screen just in case i will look up uh this account literally i i already found them Th this is this is a real account is a real account they're not using different art now but you know yeah like it, <laughs> yeah he's not using the art right now but like okay actually uh Crystal Boz. Let's see. I found it. Literally, hold on. Yeah, here's a perfect example. Perfect example. Look, this is. It's a real person. They they are an active streamer. This is a real fucking person. Yeah, they might want to fix their audio, but like, still, they they bought this. You should contact them. I think I will, but probably after stream. Uh, to let them know, like, what, like, the, the unfortunate thing is the damage is already done. I don't know how much they would have spent for this, like, whole thing. Actually, here's one thing we can do. Okay, the, okay. So, on the bright side, they don't have, like, art down here. Um, but, like, you know, it, the thing is, pe people fall for this. But the fact that people have fallen for this what if they steal random small streamers brand pictures to show as evidence um the only reason i know that's not true is because i have contacted uh like one of like a victim and they like they got it from them uh with uh wait, let me let me go up. It's it's like one of the first things that happened. I, I didn't like talk to them extensively. I just like I let them know what happened. Uh and all that. Um it, then eventually I just kind of like unfriended them. Cause like I'm sure they don't want to like think like fuck man, I've been scammed and this is the only way I know this person. Like I like they probably don't want that like to be reminded of that all the time. Like I wasn't looking to be like their friend or anything, but like, you know, that's the thing. Like, the, it's, for somebody who is, like, a small streamer and all that other stuff, no, no, <laughs> no noises. <laughs> uh, for somebody who's a small streamer, it's very easy to be like, oh, okay, hey, Chris, Crystal Boz, um, like, let me look this up. Oh, hey, it's a real person, like, who's using this, this art. But the thing is... Like, you could contact them, like, you can contact, like, I could go talk to, like, this Crystal Boss person right now, and they'll be like, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I got art from them, they're real, they're good. Uh, I myself was probably ghosted by one of these scam artists. Good. Thank God if you're being ghosted, unless you already paid, if you didn't get art i mean at the same time you're not getting you're you're getting other people's art if if you uh if you uh 
did pay them. You did not. Okay, good. But yeah, the main reason that I'm on about this is is only because Havel got scammed. Havel paid, I think it was either 114 or 116 dollars uh, to get uh, like a full pack of emotes and like some like other stuff, and that money is just gone. There's no way to get it back. So the only way to actually, I think the only way, yeah, over a hundred dollars. Yeah, over a hundred dollars. Um, yeah, uh, I have a lot of crust, but that they probably couldn't make it on. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're, <laughs> uh, if if it's a real artist who who like you know, once like who actually wants to work for you, they will work around things and like be able to make actually they don't even need to work around things because they're just working with their own skills. The thing with these people is they will steal art or something and like, you know, like they, they just they just recolor stuff. Yeah, at that point you can just make it yourself well that's that's one thing but not everybody like can you know do art one sec i'm not obviously i'm not going to advocate for this but at this point you might as well just steal the art yourself i'm not saying you should don't do that why right, hear turkey noises it's because i have a dog that's barking in the other room <laughs> but like like because you're just paying for like stolen art but like the thing is i like i don't it, i could talk contact this person right they probably don't know bunny the 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 bunny boy guy that i talked to like a while ago he didn't know like he had no idea i when i messaged him out of the blue he had no idea that he was scammed absolutely zero idea and that's i that's why I think this is like probably a lot easier to get away with for them for like these art scammers because with like um <coughs> with uh like t telephone scammers there's nothing like solid that comes out of a like telephone scammer like they can just like like connect to your computer they'll like they'll like type in like the the command prompt and be like oh your computer has virus i get it off of there whatever um but with this like you get something you get like a like you get the product but it, it's not like real in a sense it's not real like it is like somebody's art but it's not theirs say say like you bought like a hell no actually here, here's a better thing you you go to like say there's like a farmer's stand somewhere and he's selling, selling like I, just something random like melons like you go over to this this like farmer's stand and like you just like take a melon walk away uh and and like he, the the farmer stand guy like doesn't notice you take a melon or he's probably should be something smaller but whatever I'm just stick with me, um, and then you go sell that melon be like yeah I grew it myself, like no you didn't, <laughs> credit give me your credit card number, taking a melon my health amount of hiding it but yeah like it's it's pretty much a, it, it's like it's like stealing a melon and saying you grow grew it and then selling it. Like that that's pretty much it. But like, you know, that that farmer like worked hard on his melons, dude. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? Pretty much how I wanna leave that off is please be careful with uh with art. And especially when people contact you about making art on Discord. Like, seek out artists yourself. Artists will artists will be fine. <laughs> yeah, don't accept art DMs. Well, that's the thing. I don't want to say don't accept art DMs because some people probably do actually like reach out to people and are like, hey, I'd like to work for work for you. So like saying don't reach out for art DMs isn't the way to go. Um, just make sure you like do prop like you look into like what these people are like put it like, yeah, be cautious because this is just another way people are like just literally just stealing like jobs and things from artists and dude 
artists already have it rough enough, dude. We don't, we don't need this. It, it is already, like, it is ridiculously difficult to even try to get, like, into, like, yeah, s stealing is not based. It, it's already ridiculously difficult enough to, like, be an artist because, uh, here, uh, on a, a, a personal story, I guess. So when COVID hit, uh, 2020, uh, I was, I was actively, like, doing art commissions and doing things like that. Um, and fucking, uh, I was, I, eventually I, like, started getting depressed and stuff, so I couldn't, I wasn't doing, I wasn't, like, you know, getting myself out there and, like, doing art commissions and things like that. And eventually I just stopped doing commissions, like, completely, because, like, it's, it's tough. Like, like, trying to, like, find people who, like, want to, like, actually, like, actually want art and stuff. Like, it's rough. And artists don't need this shit. Like, they, we, we just don't. That's the end of it. <laughs> Tried freelance editing. That's what I was trying to get into, but I, I just have a, like... <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, like, I shouldn't have stayed up so late making this video but i re like i wanted to get this out as as fast as possible and with as much quality as possible Woo. sorry <laughs> I i'm so dead tired it is it's 12 51 and i have to be at work in seven hours and i should be asleep already nope it's six hours uh i'm gonna wave goodbye um please uh the the only thing I want you to take away from this video is to please be careful with who you are um, buying art from. Uh, that like th that that that's the whole purpose of this whole video. Just like be careful um, because technically it won't hurt you to uh, to like buy art from these people. But you are, it does 100% affect, um, the artists that, uh, that these, like, people steal from. That, that, like, art that, um, is taken from, like, from them, like, they worked on that. That's, like, that's, like, their livelihood. Or sometimes, well, not always, but, like, some, sometimes, like, art is a hobby or whatever. Still, like, some people do genuinely make a living off of just doing art, and whenever somebody just comes and, like, takes it and then resells it, it's, that's, like, soul-crushing. The thing is, most of the artists that don't know that this is going on are potentially just, like, losing money based on like because like nobody's gonna hi hire them because like what well, this other person is selling your art i don't know it's uh right. I, I, I gotta i gotta i gotta go to bed it's 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 far too late please pay real artists